Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the fourth episode of the second season of Kuma 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 Bear. Last episode, we finished off our escort arc with Shia and her schoolmates. And I'm pretty eager to get into the next arc because I really have no idea about to expect. So let's just jump on in and find out. You know, don't move things out of place. Three, two, one, play. Looks like we're right off at night. And yet still at work. Although she seems happy. And of course it has a bear on it. With one eye. I assume he's just not finished yet. Just give him an eye patch, you know. That'd be one way to finish it up quickly. Hello. <laughs> okay. I have no doubt she would. Well, some light does help. That is true. I think fully animated that walking back, walking sequence. So is she going to get some real focus this episode? That Link Green shot kind of makes me think that. Yeah. This is the arc we finished up. And that's, yeah, more, rem more reminiscent of what we got now. So, are the arcs just like in order in the opening? Cooking arc win. The whole world of possibilities between those pages. I was itching a lot, I'm sorry, you just uh, drive me crazy. <sighs> that is exciting. <laughs> and that just, you know. <laughs> and that would be? I mean, it's all part of the overall you know, Nanchan Empire. <laughs> Give me back my thing. I mean, I definitely get what you're saying. Yeah, they definitely don't want that. I think she has something for you. She's adorable. And here's the present with the little bear on it. Because you know Nate Chung would never accept a present that did not have a bear on it. And there's a head pat reward. <laughs> not as cute as you.
So yeah, that went pretty well. She did not seem disappointed at all. It's a pretty nice place, isn't it? <laughs> so I need a map. <laughs> well, you know who that's got to be connected to. Who else would possibly open up a bear shop? Nobody else would dare. Try to rustle it on her territory. That's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, they found found you now. Most people call me you. Most people call me you now and age, John. Feel free to. Come <laughs> on, I mean, I don't see the problem with that one. <laughs> but she did not seem amused one bit. <laughs> I would prefer you call her you now and age, John. Just can everyone call her that, please? So now it's what's your next project? Yeah, I definitely made her whole day. <laughs> Crap, I was spotted a bit being adorable over here. <laughs> but she just amplifies it, really. <laughs> the embarrassment. She likes to walk with her hands behind her head. I guess that's just her style. <laughs> yep. Bear holding the bread. <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't that hard to guess. <laughs> this is our establishment. <laughs> oh yeah, the uniforms. <laughs> Uh, the uniforms. It's so good, isn't it? I would go to this place every day. Look for a while. Oh, that's okay. That's where we're getting at. Okay. Thank you, misunderstood. <laughs> Looks pretty nice. Right. <laughs> South Africa, you know, chum. Yuna is the best, isn't she? This is Yuna's world, we're all just living in it. Very soft handshake. So yeah, we got that all established. Yeah, she is a... Very important character in the show. Got a little bit of montage, yeah. Checking out the place. This is the cash register. Money goes into it. Money comes out of it. <laughs> wow. Uh, probably.
Okay. <laughs> so happy for rice. I knew she would have a good idea here. I re we definitely cannot beat the, the little bear Kikurumi uniforms, but we'll see what she's got. <laughs> Are we just going to do it again? I mean, I mean, I'm okay with that. <laughs> nah, I'm just I'm really wants that agreement. Yeah, it's all it's all good. <laughs> She's just that good. Don't underestimate her. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's fine with it. <laughs> they definitely are, you know. You know, a uniform like that definitely suits the others better, you know, the bigger you are in general, it doesn't suit you as well, but I'm still okay with it. Kind of like, you know, Maho Shoujo kind of thing. Once you get to a certain height slash age, it doesn't really suit you very well. I both, yeah. <laughs> If anyone knows how embarrassing it is to wear a bear suit, it would be, you know. Yeah, I mean, I guess we had to do this in the end. It was always going to be a tough sell. Of course. Don't rake the chicken. It's either a big chicken or a small child. That bag that she's holding is about the size of her like torso, like from the bottom of the neck to the waist. But yeah, bear guiding the young the young girl. I was right, she was getting a lot of screen time this episode. <laughs> of course, you got real talent. Okay, why does that thing not have a face, though? Must be a background character. Yeah, this is definitely a place to sew and stuff. We'll get the ingredients to it. Naru. That's the plan. I should just teleport to the table. I know. I'm just that Joseph. Will do. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. She could make her own bear Kigurumis. Oh yeah, it's up to you, Sherry. And that tone of voice she said it with was oddly soothing. Comforting. There we go. As expected. They were pretty cool. What was with that reaction? I don't quite understand, but... Because that was in response to them saying it would be fun, right? I, I don't know. If it's important, I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> the bears, yeah. 
That one with the arm up is like, I want to play, guys. Let's go have fun. But she is definitely working hard as they are on looking. A familiar ceiling. Okay, they are gonna... They are gonna be helpful. Because we were seeing how hard she was working, so... It makes sense, you know, helping how they can. Such good friends. Yes, she has. We an apprentice. I mean, it's quite the, quite the suggestion there. Something to think about for sure. I'm not sure about the color of the overall apron, but the design is nice with the bear, of course. I'm not gonna mention it to Yuna. You all definitely could use some rest, that's for sure. Yeah, you can definitely tell us by looking at her that something's on her mind. Yeah, you can talk to me. And there it is. Well, yeah, but I mean... Because, yeah, I mean... Kind of abandoning, abandoning our current thing is the only reason why it's a bit of an issue. But I think that's okay to do, you know, pursue a passion in life. Like, nobody's going to tell you not to, I mean. I do like how Yuna's coming down to her level. That's a good idea. Instead of just thinking about it all yourself and getting all depressed, it'd be best to actually communicate with him about it. Because I'm sure they're going to be encouraging. Okay, right out, right out to it.
You really can't say no to that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's all good, Cherry. Well, there you go. I mean, it wouldn't make a huge difference just losing one person, but... Well said. You know, just in the back watching. Always enjoy her outfit. Our mage, witch girl, whoever she is. It does look pretty good. And, you know, it's got the rice, of course. <laughs> yeah, at least Fiona gets a little bit of screen time. Not, not much, but... They remind us that she exists, so... Before the episode's over. Yeah, the chickens seem fine. Just clucking away. All in a day's work. <laughs> Ooh, and credits. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> The sun. Go from the computer screens to this. Hand holding, nice sunny day, grassy field. Zuto. She looks so comfy on top of Kuma Kun. And of course, by Kuma Kun, I mean Kuma Yudu. I knew I was going to get it wrong. I had a 50 50 chance of getting the name right. Bear seeking mithril. Okay. Okay. Well, that was the fourth fourth episode of the second season of Kuma 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 Bear. And yeah, this was a solid episode. Definitely less action packed than you know the last one where we were fighting like giant monsters and stuff. This is more of a actual just uh, what's the best way to describe it? Economy building episode, like you know establishing the new business, right? Trying to get that all figured out. Those are the two main things Yuna does. She beats up monsters and expands her empire. We can kind of boil it down to that, right? So, that's uh, this was one of those episodes. And we actually started off with Sherry doing, you know, the sewing, the embroidery, whatever it's called, right? And it, I got I got a, got the feeling during that scene that the episode was going to focus on her. I definitely was uh, was right about that. Like, she initially was making a gift for Yuna and Aechon, and that somehow expanded to her, like, 
helping out with the uniforms for the new restaurant that was getting established. So definitely had a pretty pretty important role in the overarching show, and obviously some big character development stuff as well with um, the big decision if she wants to become the apprentice, like tailoring apprentice after you know, working together with them and showing off her incredible skills and talents that any kind of master would want to, you know, hone and uh, help develop, right? So, in the decision to whether or not to pursue that or to stick with the chickens. And luckily, in the end, she was able to agree to it and pursue her passion in life, which is always what you should, should do. You only get one life, you know, for the most part. And this you get a guy. So, you should live it the way that would make you the happiest. Like, there's something to be said about not wanting to cause trouble for others, but at the end of the day, you do have to value your yourself uh, higher, right? Maybe not super-duper higher, but still moderately higher, if that makes sense. But So that was basically yeah, Sherry's personal arc, which is cool to see. Because, I mean, I, I don't even know about her existence really until this episode. Like, I'm sure she's always been around, but never really had this degree of focus, so... She's much more of a character to me now, if that makes sense. But... Yeah, it would have been something if we did have the more bare Kigurumis as a uniform. But like we talked about, you know, it works well with the little ones, but the bigger you get, the less adorable it is and the more just uh, weird it is, for lack of a better term. Like, it just doesn't suit you as well. And so it was mostly just brought up as like a semi-gag sort of thing. And in the end, we went with like some apron with like a slight bear theme instead of going full bear. Because you never go full bear, I guess. But that was all established. So, yeah, not too much more to say about the episode than that. We just it was a nice, fun episode. And what was the title for next episode again? I haven't said the very end of the file, I think. Uh, yeah, Bear Seeking Mithril. So, Mithril obviously is a mineral you usually use to forge stuff. I mean, in World of Warcraft, Mithril is something you mind as well. But, um, so yeah, is are we going to try some blacksmithing kind of stuff where we make some new weapons? I... That's the only thing I could possibly guess from that, uh, personally. But I guess we'll find out. So, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.